What's up, Internet? Hello. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> it's movie time. It's, your, it's movie time. It's time for cake. Uh, cake. What's up, guys? So we just watched a movie called uh, called Don't Breathe, formerly called A Man in the Dark, which I wish they kept that title. Don't Breathe is a film that's directed by Fede Alvarez, director of Evil Dead 2013, and stars Jane Levy of Evil Dead 2013, Dylan Minnette and uh, Stephen Lang, and it tells the story not of, of Evil Dead 2013. Not of, not of Evil Dead 2013. And it tells the story of three uh, inner city Detroit kids who um, are looking to get out of Detroit, as most people do, and they commit petty burglaries in order to get some extra money. I don't know if petty is the right word. Well, yeah, yeah, no, that was the point of the them saying no more than $10,000. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, at that point, it's petty theft. They can, and, they, and, they, and no cash. Yeah. And so they commit, you know, petty theft in order to get out of Detroit, and they f find their uh, their way out. When they, they stumble they, onto a big score. An, uh, o an old blind man who is sitting on 300 k or more, and that'll be one final robbery to get them out of Detroit, and they never have to go back to the life. This movie was fucking awesome, dudes. Yeah, it was pretty good. Holy shit. Yeah. It, it's unreal how good this thing was. For those who don't know, Fede Alvarez... Um, Direct started out directing a very short film on the internet called Panic Attack. It's a maybe five minutes short about giant robots. And I did not know that. Sam Raimi uh, Sam Raimi took notice of him, hired him on to direct the Evil Dead remake, which was fucking great. And, separate review eventually. And now his now there's there's this movie, which is his, I believe his first original feature, called Don't Breathe, and it's. The guy knows what he's doing. It's really, really unbelievable how good this movie is. One of my favorites of the year so far. Same, yeah. This movie was great. So everyone should see it. Yeah, let's just fucking dive right into this shit. Likes. What did you like about this movie? The, tent, the cinematography, everything from capturing capturing Detroit's fucking oh yeah. outlook. That was like I, that had to be filmed on location. It might have been. There had, there's probably like was. no other pl especially those aerial shots. It there's no was. other place. It that was the city of Detroit probably fucking begged them to do yeah, it. Yeah, really. Can we speaking of cinematography, just just interrupt real quick. Can we talk about how fucking amazing that whole one take through the house was just to get you the layout and just yeah. show you where everything is? No, that is. was really cool. Love it. Just the one that one long sweeping shot that goes through pretty much every room in the house. Uh, oh, the well, blind eyes. I don't know if that actor. I doubt that he's actor not blind. is blind. He's not blind. Well, the, well, whatever. The, the those contacts were great. Those eyes. Those, those really. contacts, especially in the night vision scene. Oh my god, they looked yeah. amazing. It looked so fucking good. This movie had balls. Oh yeah. This movie. It went there. Had balls. It went there. I respect the shit out of that. Uh, the effects were great. The acting was fucking stellar. Uh, the plot was incredibly original and. Something that I haven't really seen done before. Which Refresh I have. Of, really? I have. Oh, well, fuck you. This movie's very much like uh, a good version of The Collector. I'm also, People Under the Stairs. It's it's. I've never seen people Very much. Stairs. It's very much I a. This film is kind of comes off as a, almost a soft reboot of People Under the Stairs. Obviously, it, there's no camp. There's a lot more brutal realism, and this movie is better than People Under the Stairs. But it still has. There's a lot of similarities there, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm saying that it's just something that you'll you might notice. No, I mean the oh no no okay but yeah it has um, like I said it had elements of people under the stairs and the collector but what else, what else? it's still original um, yeah just overall like um, oh the set I really like the set that's one I love that yeah that set whole that whole house is really 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 good um, for me I first of all I love the whole like how it plays in the moral ambiguity of it all mm -hmm. how, like yeah they're burglars but I mean they're not they're not doing it like for. Their own personal. They're, they're own, not doing like it so they can. They're doing it to get the fuck out of Detroit, and get out of their broken ass homes. The like, one guy seems like a shitty person. Well, he, no. the, well, yeah, the but, gangbanger guy. Yeah, but, but like, no, you have Jane, pissing on the floor. You have Jane Levy's character who is doing it to get out of this, get her and her her little like three year old sister out of this horrible broken home they're living in, and like you know you have you have Dylan Minnette's character who's just basically in love with her. Yeah, and it's it's really it's just it's like really. Interesting the way the story plays out. Also, this movie, like he said, has balls. It goes there. This film, despite how little how little to no gore is in the film, there is one scene in this movie uh, that manages to be more disgusting than the 2013 Evil Dead remake. Yeah. 
it goes there and it's disgusting, it is, disturbing. It's fucked, guys. One of those it's, things where like the whole theater there was like a collective gasp almost. It's yeah. it's really, really fucked up and it's awesome. It's so fucking cool. This it actually feels like a Hitchcock movie. It's the the fact that this movie is just pure tension. There's no real gore in the film at all. It just winds the tension and keeps going and going and going and it doesn't stop. In and in typical Fede Alvarez fashion, he puts those fucking characters through hell. He puts them through fucking hell. So one thing um, I want to add, um, just almost as a note, when we got into this theater, it was fucking packed. People were talking. They would not fucking shut up. Within the first five minutes, people shut the fuck up oh. and didn't talk again. You reminded me of my last... Because I forgot about this. The sound design of this movie. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, no, that was cool, too. For a film that is thrives on silence... Oh, my God. This movie is awesome. Every single sound that is made in the house is something that you're, like, wincing at in the theater. Because it's just, like, you're, you need everything to be so fucking quiet. It's... You, you're practically holding your own breath in the theater. It's it's just really. I actually fun. caught myself doing that. A couple it's of fucking times. great. It's so cool. You feel like your heartbeat's gonna fucking like 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 beating louder than like most of the people. It's it's so cool. The last thing I want to touch on real quick is that the way this movie progresses. First of all, the pacing is astounding. It's it it gets going within the first fifteen minutes and doesn't stop. And I love that. Yeah. But I love the development you get or the the evolution of your feelings toward these 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 thieves. To the point where, you at the start, you're not sure if you really want them to get away with the money. You feel that kind of bad for the blind boy. The, the blind, blind boy. boy. <laughs> you feel kind of bad for the blind man. If he's but a boy, I'm a fetus. You feel kind of bad for the blind man, but then after a certain point, for me at least, I felt that Jane Levy earned every fucking cent of that yeah. money, and she, I was like rooting for her to get the fuck out of there. It's so cool, guys. Dislikes. The child actor. That's it. That's my I only think that's it. too. Um, the cinematography was fucking beautiful. However, there was one scene that gave me slight motion sickness. Yeah, I know. It was weird. It was okay. actually... It was the tracking shot. There was just, really? While they were in the... Uh, the shot was beautiful. I don't well, know if you why. want to talk getting friggin'... I think it was because we were in the second fucking row. Right, that's row, probably so why. Probably that. Probably um, not the movie. That didn't bother but if you want to talk movie. about friggin' head headaches and motion sickness and stuff like that. Friendly reminder, if you have an opportunity to see a movie in theaters and the only seats left are in the first two rows, don't fucking do it. Yeah, don't do it. It's not worth it. Um, other than that, yeah, no, I got Yeah, nothing. I, like I said, like, you and I, like you were saying, the only issue I had was the, the actress playing the little sister is just like, and you could practically see the script she was reading. I was with that being said, you know my hatred. She's barely in the movie, so it doesn't really matter. You know it's my hatred really... toward child's actors? I didn't notice it. I didn't think it was she, too bad. She's hardly in the movie, yeah, so it doesn't, it doesn't she matter. She has, like, th three whole lines, yeah, it's so not a big deal. fuck it. I so, didn't even notice. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you want to get into what would you declare this movie as? I'm just going to flat out say this movie, I feel, is a genre masterpiece. One of my favorites of the year, hands down. It does pretty much everything right. My only gripe was the most minor thing in the world, so absolutely a genre masterpiece. Genre masterpiece What's as well. What's the under genre masterpiece? <laughs> must see. Must see. I'd but, say must see, but almost at genre masterpiece. But yeah, no. Genre masterpiece. My only gripe is something that might have been because we were in the second fucking row, and either way, this movie was just so goddamn refreshing. It's so cool, guys. Definitely check check it out as soon as you can. It's yeah. This is also don't watch the trailer. Don't yeah. That is that is one thing I will I want to get into as a gripe. If you haven't already. It's not a problem with the movie at all, but the the trailer's spoilery. The ads for this movie spoil quite a bit. So if you can if you haven't seen them yet, don't watch them because you want to go in blind. I'm a I'm a bad man. We're very tired boys. They are. They're but, pussies. Uh, yeah. If you like us, if you like the three of our faces, and you want to see them on cereal boxes, hit the little subscribe button down there, and boxes? like, and comment. I don't, I don't even eat cereal. If and anything, we're, I'm going to end up on a fucking flyer in the post office saying, have you seen this man? Tell I was going to I'm going to end up on the bottom back of a thing of milk. Yeah. That's you know, you know like. what to fucking do. Click that, do this, hit like, fucking exit out the browser, like, comment, watch subs porn, do whatever, I don't give a shit. Like, comment, subscribe. Let like us know what you thought about like, this movie. Like, let us know in the comments what you thought about Don't Breathe and if you had any things you wanted us to touch on. And if you were able to make it through this whole movie without breathing, I want to know that. That would be astounding. That will be impressive. 